Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Continental Wigs in the UK. This is tailored by Natural Image in the color Onyx Glow, a beautiful multi-gray colored piece in a classic bob and a budget-friendly price. If you want to know more about Tailored, then stick around. We will talk all about her and I will show you inside the cap and we'll look at this color inside and outside. I am so grateful to Continental Wigs for sending me Tailored and partnering with me on this review so that I could show this budget-friendly, higher-end, quality synthetic style to all of you. I love partnering with Continental Wigs. They are located in the UK. They do ship internationally. It's very, very easy to purchase from them if you're in the United States like I am and I have purchased from them multiple times. But if you're in the UK and you're looking for a great retailer that is more local to you, you should really check out Continental Wigs. They're wonderful. I have multiple videos talking about them. Let's take a look at Tailored from all sides and then I'll tell you all about her. Taylor has a lace front and a comfort cap. What that means is this just has a, a beautiful lace front, which we'll look at in a moment, and then no other cap features, which keeps the price point of this one very, very As low. As I film this video, this is listed at $100 pound sterling, and the conversion to US right now must be pretty close to equal because it's just a, a little over 105, according to their website, in US dollars. That is a fantastic price for a wig like this, especially a wig with a lace front like this. Let's look at it. There's your lace. It is so good. This lace front is incredible. Now it helps that this is a light color so that you don't have any dark knots up at the front. But if you are struggling with wearing wigs or it's so important to you that a wig look as realistic as possible, a wig with a lace front like this allows you to wear it with confidence. If the wind blows the wig off of your face, it is going to look like it grows out of your head. If you sometimes like to put your hair up in clips, you can clip this away from the face and it's going to look so natural. You can take and you can tuck this wig and that is going to also look so natural in the the front you're not going to have to worry about keeping the hair forward to hide any knots or a hard front often you will find hard fronts on wigs of this price point so having a lace front is fantastic now this does not have a monofilament on top that is going to give you a couple of things to consider. The first thing, you can part this anywhere you want to part it. Because it doesn't have a part line, you can work with it. You can take it and you can part it right going over to the left. You can part it left going over to the right. You can do a center part. Now if the fibers are stubborn, which they can be sometimes, just work with it. You know, you might have to work to train it to go in a different direction than it wants to out of the box. One thing you can do with regular synthetic, this is not heat friendly, you can take steam, just a cheap clothing steamer. If you are struggling with this hanging in your face, because it is a little bit front heavy, take a little bit of steam from a clothing steamer, not on your head, and just steam it up and away. I would just take it and I'd put a little clip here and I would just steam it to encourage those fibers to go away from my face. You will be amazed by how well that works to retrain regular synthetic fibers and get a wig to lay exactly like you want it to lay. Here's the cap. So this is that lace front all the way across, all the way to the ear tab. Soft ear tabs with bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. The rest of this cap is open wefted except for up here. There's a little bit of open and closed wefting up in the front. So this cap is lightweight, cool, really easy to wear and would be great if you get hot in wigs a lot or in the summertime because it doesn't have a uh, heavy hair density so let's talk about the hair density let me get this back to where i had it laying this 
wig has what I would consider a light to moderate hair density. It is sort of in between, hold on, we got fibers in the lip gloss, all kinds of nonsense. Now what I just did was I squeezed these ear tabs in. That's what those bendable stays are for. Squeeze them in tight to the side of your head and that will give you a great fit and a really secure one as well. Now let's talk about the density. Light to moderate. I think this is a really nice density. It is not the lightest, lightest hair density I've ever had, but it's close. It definitely has enough hair that it lays beautifully rounded, really professional, and you won't have to worry about really seeing wefting because it does have plenty of hair, but it's not a heavy hair density. So if you struggle with wigs, if you struggle feeling like every wig you put on your head has too much hair, partly that's just part of the journey. We all struggle with that in the very beginning, especially those of us who've been losing our hair for any period of time, because any wig is gonna look like more hair than you had. But this is a great density so that you don't have to, you can really work your way into it fairly easy. One, one word of warning I will give you though, along the lines of density and volume, is permatease. This wig does have some permatease, but for a wig that is largely a machine-made cap, it does not have much. It's got a little bit of permatease up here to give it just a little bit of security so that you can't see down to the cap, but it doesn't make it poofy or pillowy. I feel no pillowy, poofy permatease on this piece, not even at the crown, but there are crimpy fibers all throughout. And because of that, you can see the permatease just a little bit right up here. That is so, so common with machine made caps that is just the way that it goes oftentimes if you're looking for a piece now you can see it does lay a little heavy in the face in the front i am having to sweep it to the side often tuck it behind my ear that is common with bobs again use the steam technique to just redirect those fibers or use a clip eventually it will train out of your face let's get back to that permatease so on a machine made cap that has a little bit of permatease you can often see a little bit of those wiry fibers right at the top when it doesn't have a mono feature. That is sort of one of the trade-offs that we have to consider when we're looking for a more budget-friendly price point wig. If you are just so concerned about ever seeing any visible permatease, then I recommend you look for pieces with mono parts or mono tops. Those are gonna come with a much higher price point, but you do eliminate that concern. Another option, if you are concerned about seeing any visible permatease, get a rooted color. Adding a little bit of a darker root at the top does wonders for hiding any of that permatease that might be visible. Since this gray is not rooted, that is one of the reasons why you can see it. I have a video showing how to work with visible permatease. You can take your wide tooth comb and just sort of pick at the hair right at the part line where you can see the visible permatease and then kind of put it back in place. Sometimes all it takes is lifting those fibers up off the cap. Sometimes you can help that as well by shaking it out upside down really, really well. And if you take your wide tooth comb, I usually stick my fingers through the wefting to hang onto the wig securely, and then just start picking at those, the fibers at the cap and that's also going to help lift those fibers, break up that permatease just a little bit, and make it so that you can't, it's not as visible as it was before. Just a few tips for you if you're new to wearing wigs. Let's talk about fit. Natural Image, the couple that I've tried at least, seem to run really true to average. I am wearing this really comfortably. I don't have it really cinched in and it's fitting me pretty well. I feel like I could cinch it in just slightly. And I do get just the tiniest bit of extra cap on the top, which is really common for me. My measurements are in the description. I have a very petite over the top of my head measurement, but I'm very average circumference at 22 inches. So I would say this is definitely not running large, but I don't feel like it's really running small either. It has nice stretch, so you've got some good stretch there, and I get pretty good coverage from the ear tabs. They actually do run just a little bit high on me, and the problem with ear tabs that run high is that you can then sometimes see your bio hair if you have some. So when I want to tuck this, you can see my bio hair right there. 
couple of things you can do. Don't tuck the wig if it doesn't fit you great or get a color that's close to your bio hair. I often use my bio hair at the temples to blend with my wigs and as long as it's close in color, it blends just fine. Now the issue I have with this one is my bio hair Though it is pretty, getting pretty gray, it is darker than this color. If this had a little bit of rooting, I think that would blend fine. It's not terrible, but just keep in mind, if a wig doesn't fit you great and the color is drastically different than your bio hair, you may run ish to in, into issues with your bio hair blending. They do sell root touch-up powder, and oftentimes that's all you need to help your hair to blend. I use it all the time myself. Final thoughts before we move on to color. I think this is an adorable classic bob. I have so much fun tucking it behind my ear and it just making it, you know, if I do that without it blending with my hair, I would just pull out a little bit of this and I just think it's so awesome. And tucking it really does help it keep it out of your face. If you're looking for a more budget friendly but yet high quality piece and has the bonus of having a lace front, I definitely think you should check into this piece. I think it's really darling. And even here in the United States, it will work out just fine for you to order from Continental Wigs. It's really easy to do. And if you pay by PayPal, the conversion is done for you through PayPal, so it's great. I do think this is a cute piece. Just keep in mind the potential of visible permatease. Otherwise, I think it's wonderful and totally worth purchasing. All right, let's take... Sorry guys. <clears throat> All right, <laughs> let's talk about this color. Sometimes you have to swallow in between words. Did you know that? <laughs> All right, so this is called Onyx Glow. This is a gorgeous gray color. It is a blend. Let me take it off and I'll talk to you about it. It's a blend of, let me look at those numbers again, a 44, a 38, and a 56. What we have here and I'll get outside so you can see this color outside as well. But what we have here is we've got some white. We've got some really beautiful, almost like a light brownish gray throughout. We've got silver. Just look at how beautifully blended that is. And there is no rooting. Sometimes with these beautiful grays, you'll get a little bit of a rooting that doesn't look natural to some people. But this is really consistent all the way throughout the whole piece. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous blended gray. You can see back here a little bit more of sort of that light brown poking through. Beautiful, beautiful color. Onyx Glow, really well named. All right, let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you once again to Continental Wigs for sending me tailored so I could show it to all of you. Please check them out if you never have. You know, just because they're in the UK doesn't mean that we shouldn't purchase from them in the US. They have very, very competitive pricing. They carry many of the major name brands. Sometimes you can find them for a better price than you can here at some of the US retailers. So keep that in mind if you're operating on a budget and would like to save some money. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. All right, friends. Onyx Glow outside for you. We've got sun behind a cloud. Maybe it'll poke out for a second and give it some direct sunlight. It's pretty, isn't it? If you like grays, so pretty. So I walked upstairs and I film in the basement and I came upstairs to do this in my husband's home. He took this week off. He's sitting reading and he goes, hey, <laughs> I think he likes this one. One more look at the back side. All right, friends. Thanks for watching.